Let's go with the flow. Taking tablets. That's definitely not me. What the? I'm very competitive. Right. Yo, guys, welcome back to another video. This is Task Reform, and today I'm gonna react to world's youngest CrossFit champion featuring Brownie. So let's get it. This 10-year-old girl is already lifting more than adults twice her age. The 10-year-old crossfitter aiming for the Olympics. Is crossfit even an Olympic sport? Is crossfit an no Olympic way. sport? No way. No, it can't no. can be. She's only 10, so she's training and hoping. Performing is so be bad with crossfit. You're 10 years old and you're benching with 25-year-olds and 27-year-olds. It's just super crazy. So she's training with people literally twice her age. Now I want to know how much of she course. lives. But also, what do the 25-year-olds live? Kick-ass kids. <laughs> I'm an Olympic lifter and crossfitter and... My the goal is to make it to the CrossFit Games when I'm 14 years old. That's not the Olympics. That's not the, that's not the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she also said Olympic lifting. Yeah, so maybe she goes to the CrossFit Games and the Olympics with Olympic lifting. Dedicated her life to CrossFit. The high intensity mix of gymnastics. Yo, you shouldn't be doing CrossFit, man. This she is just, got that okay. technique already. Like she's just kids. It's pretty crazy. Anyways. I'm not the type of person when I wake up in the morning, I just go with the. You're floor. taking tablets. That's definitely not me. What the? I'm very competitive. All right. Also, a lot of supplements. A lot of W's already. Oh, damn. When I wake up in the morning, I like to have a purpose. Dude, your purpose is to be a of kid course. and enjoy it before it's gone. Kind of, but the younger yeah, you are, the better you are. You found your purpose or you found something that you really like. The of course. Be at this also later on. Brooklyn first began training with her well, dad you be able to eat when she was just that age, six man. years old. Six years old. That's early. Brooklyn first got into CrossFit about four years ago when I went in. Yeah, she had that obsession Damn. for the rings. Muscle up. She would just go to the rings every day. Okay, she she got the she muscle up. Whoa, yo, whoa, she, yo, wait. Whoa, she like muscle through it. Yeah. The first part is CrossFit, but then from the, the we leave it. We leave it. Transition. That she was just, strength. Next gen is crazy. Do have very good relative strength though. Small body. Big small strength. Body. Good strength. <laughs> I wish I was in the rings at this age. I work out six to seven six days, to seven a, days week. a week. Don't, don't, don't want to flex. But when when is the rest of it? Six to seven days in a week. We can seven days. So a bit of gymnastics, a bit of weightlifting. So probably you can fill those days up yeah. easily. I'm at the gym. Usually for eight to nine, nine hours. hours. What the? What? 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 That You're sleeping. No sense. Say again. Literally Usually sleeping. For eight to nine hours. But you have. School? Nah, what, she, what about, what about she left the school, school, right? school. She left the school. Eating, sleeping, going to the bathroom. Six, eight, seven days a week for eight to nine hours a day. Can for anyone, of course. For anyone. That's what it's I was not even healthy for Chris so I instead. think she's there, maybe for the majority of the day, and then just trying out random Wait, stuff. Wait, Chris Ponce never even like works out nine hours, does he? Brooklyn no way even homeschools so she can focus on her training. There is your answer. There is your answer, yes. She's homeschooled for fitness, I did that, I'm a cyclist, and I did the same thing. I was aiming for the Olympics <laughs> plus the did. national championships, but I had a bad injury and now I don't have any education and I don't know what to do. That's the risk. Go to school, kids. But that's the risk, though. It's a harsh life. No one and nothing is forgiving. It's a pro environment. If you're not of any use to someone or something or a club, you're gone. If you're injured, you're gone. Of course. Do I ever feel like I'm missing out on other things kids are doing? No, because when I'm traveling, I'm thinking to myself, like, Brooklyn, you're doing awesome. Like, other kids in your neighborhood aren't gonna be traveling to Miami and all these other places, and they're not they're not gonna get the same opportunity Damn, that you're getting with us. That was a hard no, though. That was she like, was clear. Yeah. She's like, no, I'm not missing out. Maybe also not knowing really what you miss because she's never experienced it. She's oh, so yes. young. It seems like she likes her traveling and competing. Look at those yeah, big muscles. Yeah, she's so developed. She, she's 10. My neighborhood friends, they're always like, wow, you're so strong. Like, I bet you could like pick me up and throw me across the room. <laughs> That's quite a specific thing to say. How much weight is this? No idea. Yo, I think this is 50. 25? 50 kilograms? That's ridiculous. No. Yeah. Like She's stronger than me. Her body weight is <laughs> not even 50. Is a f ton of weight. Oh, yes. She could just pick a random girl up and just be like, yo. And I throw her away. Throw her to the other to side, the side of the room. room. If she wants she to, not to say that she has to. At just 10 years old, Brooklyn is already outlifting adults. It's super fun to see her succeed. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, she looks very strong, though. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be Aryan Armstrong. Yes. Taz it's such Armstrong. Epic name, right? Yeah. Armstrong. Her body weight mm -hmm. workouts that she beats me at the majority of the time. It makes sense because, because she's uh, so light. 
relative strength. Yes. But still very impressive. Still very, very impressive. I'm 12 laying in my bed with ice cream watching this. It motivates me to get up and do something. Okay. Let's get, uh, get more ice cream. So oh, I can my. <laughs> she got me. I trained with her. He's a big guy as well. He's got the CrossFit. Yeah. Guy. Definitely. CrossFit master. Oh, my God. We saw a very nice guy doing this as well. Butterfly pull-ups. Roll the clip. No, not this one. Which brings me to a topic. That that, yes, it's insane what she's doing, and it's pretty good that she's working. I out hope he's not dead, huh? But CrossFit is kind of injury sensitive. In CrossFit, you also go max reps. You get sloppier and sloppier. On the other side, she's learning the technique very young, so probably later on she's gonna be like very comfortable with this exercise. And it looks like she's got a great trainer. Definitely. My number one goal is to make the CrossFit Games. When I achieve that goal, which I will, <laughs> it'll be the biggest reward I could ever have. Where's the Olympics? I think they mixed the two up. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working at this thing for over three years now. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it was coming. Which half is, my life. She started at seven. Fair. Almost half her life. Yeah. Be fair. When I finally make it to the games, I'll be seven years into CrossFit and that's the first year I can actually compete. Imagine how good she will be. We will know because this video was oh, over five yeah. years ago. Do I think I'll ever get bored of CrossFit? No way, Jose. I hope never retire we'll see, we'll or something. See. You can never beat the game of CrossFit. Rich frowning kind of beat the game. He wants to beat, beat CrossFit. He kind of beat the game. He kind of beat the game. Rico never understand CrossFit. Also, really beat the game. But I don't want to know more about a routine. Like, what you don't you control mean? your body. You're just using momentum. Fitness. Fitness. That's That's cheating. So she's one year old. You're not even doing pull-ups. the second best left in the nation. She's the second best of the nation? Yeah, she got stronger. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She got stronger. Way stronger. In just a year. She's tall as well, man. Whoa. How much is that? It looks like a <laughs> kilogram. <No. laughs> So this would be a 75 70. kilogram deadlift? Yes, something like that. That's pretty heavy at 11. This is my gym, this is where I work out. Let me show you what I do better. Started my gym. I don't th no, I don't think she's a gym. gym. Maybe, I mean, those kids are growing up so fast that like, maybe she's an entrepreneur and she has <laughs> yeah. her How business and everything's gym. going well for her. You gotta make sure you warm up really, you? really well, especially with lifting, because you can pull certain things if you pull too fast. She's saying mm -hmm. the right things. Yeah. Well, so you need to warm up Of course. Up Go, speed. Speed. Boom. I am speed. Speed everything. <laughs> speed will make you lift heavy weight. Power is the result of pure strength and speed. This is now my full body weight on the barbell for weight. I weigh 85 pounds. 38, 39 kilograms. It definitely builds your confidence when you hit a goal. So I did that. I thought she was mature already. <laughs> and now she's talking of even course. more mature. She definitely will go to the games at some time. Just definitely. But imagine being that kid and then hearing that. And then don't make it. Yeah. That's some <laughs> emotional damage. That's emotional damage. <laughs> I think it's a really cool thing to know that you can push yourself to such great limits. You can go as high as the sky. Something I really love about rope climbs is it's so fun. You're gonna have a feet and climb up. But without legs, that's very heavy. Oh, she's doing it without legs? Yes. Of course, she's without so legs strong. is insane. She gets to spend a lot of time with her dad. I mean, it's what she wants to that's do. That's pretty cool. Again, she's they look very happy. So family cross with family <laughs> we try to eat more wholesome food like her bicep is one egg mine seven um not for long homie homie, homie? <laughs> <laughs> oh she's going into the octagon oh she's <laughs> fighting now finally strict. some pull ups some strict, strict pull ups she's doing gymnastics as well yeah. look at her athletic ability it's gonna be her out base of this world. her base is so oh, she's she doing gymnastics one. one of the things i'm most proud about brooklyn has nothing to do with like her athletic ability her ability to love everybody like how big a heart she has she never wants to hurt okay. anyone's feelings. And she always wants to show people like how much she loves them. This girl is going places. What an incredible and inspirational kid. This video I mean, is also awesome to be honest. Years ago. Yeah. Pretty Let's see how she's doing today. Video. The last post. CrossFit related. 57 k. Oh, she's still going. Oh, Damn. Geez. She got big. She's only 15, right? 16. Yeah, 16, yeah. And literally every pose is about CrossFit. This is today. I think that's with her dad. They're still just as active. So she's obsessed with mm. CrossFit. But if you want to see a woman who's obsessed with walking 100,000 steps every single day, then check out this video. It's a pretty crazy story. Subscribe from the link above. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> so this video was pretty insane. I mean, starting at youngest age. Of course, it's better because you're going to get better in certain sports. Like calisthenics, if you started seven, of course that full plant is 
gonna be a piece of cake when you reach at the age of 20, but I mean, I, everything seems fine. It's just that nutritional, nutritional food should be there, but then you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be fasting or stuff. I don't know, man. This video was pretty insane. Brownie, uh, yeah, this was pretty insane video as well. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, train safe. Because you can see now the next gen is pretty insane. And it's going to beat us in any minute. So, I mean, 